Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the interview experience for Talus International, where designation is Tableau Developer and tech stack is Tableau, SQL and Data Warehouse. So without wasting any further time, let's move to the process. In this video, we are going to discuss about the process, interview rounds, interview question and tips to clear the interview. Okay, and from this video, I'm going to add the expected salary column as well. So stay tuned. I will discuss the salary expectation at the end of this video. Now let's move to the process. So HR generally take five to 10 working days to complete the process. And if you clear the interview, HR will inform you in next one to one or two days about the result. Okay. The next is how to find the job of TELUS. TELUS International is basically a product based company, you can say. Okay. And, he, and their HRs are very active on the LinkedIn and as well as on the Nokri.com. Okay. So uh, mostly they prefer the person who is on a notice period. So, but, but uh, if you are having like good skills and your resume is very good, so they, they will consider you before the notice period as well. Okay. So be active on the Nokri and update your profile regularly. Second one is LinkedIn.com. As I'm seeing a lot of job opportunity of the Talus International on the LinkedIn as well. So you can try to add the HR and share your resume to the HR. Okay. This will again very helpful for you. I'm not sure about their their portal. So so that's why I didn't mention like uh, about their job portal. Okay. So I, I prefer only these two for this company because I, I got the call from the Nokri.com. Okay. Now let's move to the interview rounds. The first round is a technical round, which was around 30 minutes where discussion uh, about my technical skills about uh, and about Tableau, SQL and data warehouses. OK, and second was a managerial round, which was taken by a lady from a US. She was a manager and and this was more discussion about my project, what kind of project I have done and basic basic like two, three things about uh, what's my future goals and and how I build the dashboard. So uh, all, all these things are discussed in the managerial round and at the end uh, she gave me an overview what what should i expect at the job role okay and uh, all these things will be discussed in the round two okay and round three was a case study round where uh, a data set was given and uh, i think after round two the two days was given to complete uh, the dashboard and i have to submit it to the team and then case study round happen okay and then final HR round. Okay, now let's move to the interview questions. Other question that were asked to me in round one. First two questions are common in every interview. So let's move to the question from the tableau. So first question Mr. Pucha gaya tha ki, uh, do you do you use published data source or embedded data source? So first of all, up ka difference pata hona ki, what is published data source and what is embedded data source? Let me just give you a summary published data source that is available at the tableau server and we can connect it to the multiple multiple dashboard at a time. Okay, and embedded data source is the one that we publish with with the dashboard. Okay, the scope of the embedded data source is limited to only that specific dashboard but but published data source we can use it to the multiple dashboard okay so second question is uh, if you are working with the published data source and you create a calculated field in your dashboard will it be published to the data source okay so jab bhi hum log published data source so connect karte hain and and we access in our dashboard so all the calculated we are creating at the dashboard level not at the data source level okay so wo Publish data source may publish nahi hongi that will be available only at our dashboard level. Okay. Third question Mr. Pucha Gaya what is LOD? Give its example. So I have explained what is LOD level of details and there are three types fixed, include, and, and, and exclude. I have explained uh, all three with an example. Okay. So film is the question Pucha Gaya tha ki, is LOD in the tableau similar to group in SQL? Okay, so the answer is yes, because LOD is, is also grouped by the values by using some specific field. Okay. Next question Mr. Pucha Gaya tha, what is RLS and where you have used RLS in your project? So RLS is role level security and we use RLS to to uh, to apply uh, security at our dashboard level. Okay, so I have given an example where I have used in my dashboard. Okay, and famous Pucha Gaya tha ki explain user function. So then then I, I explained like 
like why we use user function and and what is the importance of user function in the row level securities and what are the types of user function available in the tableau okay next question mein se pucha gaya tha what is set action and parameter action in the tableau to ye question hai ye bahut hi kam interviews mein se pucha gaya hai so uh, i was not aware about the exact definition about what is set action and what is parameter action but i know like how we can implement set action and the parameter action so maine uska explanation diya tha but i i was not aware about the exact definition of set action and the parameter action that time okay so these are the question that were asked to me from from the tableau let's coming to the sequel so whenever uh, so when i give the explanation about the lod so mereko bola gaya tha ki write and fixed lod example okay to maine wo likha tha फिर मेरे से पूछा गया था कैन यू कन्वर्ट दिस फिक्स एलोड एग्जाम्पल इन टू द सिक्वल क्वेरी ओके सो फिर वो मैंने कन्वर्ट किया था इफ यू नो हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट दैट फिक्स एलोडी इन टू द सिक्वल क्वेरी प्लीज राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ओके जस्ट जस्ट अ बेसिक बेसिक क्वेरी यू कैन यू कैन कन्वर्ट ओके अदरवाइज आई विल प्रोवाइड दिस इन टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ओके तो जो मेरे से उसी के बेस पे मैंने मैंने एक कैलकुलेटिव फील्ड बनाई थी और लाइक फिक्सड रीजन मैनेजर एंड देन सम ऑफ सेल्स ओके और उसको मैंने कन्वर्ट किया था सिक्वल क्वेरी में फिर मेरे से उसी जब मैंने कन्वर्ट किया था तो मेरे से पूछा गया था कि नाउ फाइंड आउट द रीजन मैनेजर हुई सैलरी इज ग्रेटर देन टेन थाउजेंड सॉरी वन लैक ओके तो फिर मैंने उसकी उसकी क्वेरी लिखी थी ओके सो दीज टू क्वेरीज वर आज टू आज टू मी इन राउंड वन फ्रॉम सिक्वल और जो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था हेयर वेयर और हैविंग डिफरेंस ये बहुत ही कॉमन क्वेश्चन है यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट लाइक इन इन एवरी एवरी इंटरव्यू ऑफ द सिक्वल ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो पूछा गया था स्नो फ्लेक वर्सिज स्टार स्कीमा ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द सिक्वल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इफ यू आर गोइंग गोइंग फॉर दैट पावर बी आर डेलोपर ऑल्सो सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो यू शुड नो कि स्नो फ्लेक स्कीमा क्या होता है स्टार फ्लेक स्टार स्कीमा क्या होता है ओके स्टार इज लाइक बेसिकली एक सेंटर फैक्ट टेबल होती है उसके चार ओवर डायमेंशन टेबल होती है और स्नोफ्लेक्स स्कीमा क्या होता है कि हम उसको उसको एडिशनल फंक्शनलिटी ऐड कर देते हैं लाइक like, एक एक टेबल में थोड़ा थोड़ा डेटा रखा फिर उसके बेस पे एक एक और टेबल बना दी लाइक चेन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एड कर देते हैं ओके सो दिस दिस इज लाइक अ बेसिक बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ स्नोफ्लेक और स्टार स्कीमा यू कैन रीड मोर अबाउट ऑन दिस अदर आर्टिकल आई विल प्रोवाइड द आर्टिकल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बुक्स ओके Now let's move to the data warehouse question. So, first question, so he was asked that what is data warehouse and why we use data warehouse. Okay, so you should know that what is data warehouses and what's the use of data warehouses and why we use it. Okay, so I will provide the more detailed article in the description box. Okay, so next question, he was asked that what is what is SCD type one and type two. To be frank. That time I was not aware about कि एस सी डी टाइप वन एंड टाइप टू क्या होता है बट द इंटरव्यूअर वॉज वेरी वेरी पोलाइट एंड वेरी नाइस द पर्सन हैज एक्सप्लेन मी विद एन एग्जाम्पल लाइक वट इज एस सी डी टाइप वन एंड द टाइप टू ओके तो एस सी डी लेट मी जस्ट गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दैट एस सी डी इज स्लोली चेंजिंग डायमेंशन टाइप वन एंड टाइप टू वैन वी यूज इन द टाइप वन whenever a new row is added it it just replace the existing row and and doesn't keep the history and type 2 is just keeping the history okay so that's the difference between basic difference between type 1 and the type 2 okay and the next question were asked to me is what is cardinality okay cardinality is very common question uh, related to sql as well as well as from the power bi point of view as well as from the tableau point of view okay in the tableau we use under the relationship and uh, और पावर बी में तो हम लोग जब भी जब भी लाइक रिलेशनशिप एस्टेब्लिश करते हैं बिटवीन द टेबल सो वहाँ पे हम यूज करते हैं मॉडल व्यू में एंड ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन दैट वर आस्ट टू मी इन राउंड वन ओके लेट्स मूव टू द राउंड टू क्वेश्चंस एज वी डिस्कस्ड इन in the round section as well like this is more related to about my project discussion about my domain experience and uh, explain the building of process okay so this is very very crucial round first of all because the interview was taken by by a manager who is from a us okay and that were they they basically test you based upon what you are seeing okay and what what kind of project you are mentioning and you will you can expect a lot of question based on your explanation okay what kind of domain you have worked on okay and one question like ye bahut hi important question hota hai explain the process of building a dashboard okay if you are giving a explanation about this be make sure like ki aap proper ek process bata rahe ho like how you get the requirements 
from a client or or from a data source which kind of data source you are using okay and how you uh, make a wireframe of the dashboard or or maybe you are getting from a client uh, mock up mock up kind of something like you need to use this kind of or maybe you are working on the migration okay so you should explain the process basically like how you are going step by step upside okay so this is how you can explain okay and fir a question pucha gaya tha ki explain one of your complex dashboard so i explained one of my complex dashboard ye maine kafi kafi explain kiya hai in my previous video as well you can check out the previous video okay and uh, and after that uh, uh, the lady has explained about all all the roles and responsibility what can expect from this role and what they are looking for personally okay and what is what was the shift timing and what i have to do so all these things were explained by them and uh, this is all about from the round 2 and after that after the round 2 the data set was given to me and they were, they gave me two days of time to check out the data and build a dashboard and that was basically data was related about the sales dashboard and they were having some data and i first i clean the data and build a dashboard and then i explain in the round 3 then what what kind of things i have done in the dashboard and what was the ambiguity in the data and and uh, and what is the average of year and year growth of the sales and this kind of things i have built a simple dashboard okay there was no so complex data and i think around uh, around only 5 to 6000 rows was there in in the data set so i just create a simple and beautiful dashboard okay so if you if you need that data, data set please let me know in the comment section i will provide okay this is all about the rounds and after that there was hr round discussion about your salary negotiation and all kind of things okay now let's move to the tips so tips for this video is optimize your resume okay so if you check out the jobs of the tableau or maybe this this is basically not related to only tableau this is related to the all the jobs okay uh, if you are going to apply for the job make your resume according to that job okay if you see there are some of there are some keyword that is common in all the jobs but there are few keyword that is specially added in that specific job okay so you should check out that job description and find out that specific keywords and add in in your resume okay if you are align your resume with the job description your chance of getting shortlisted will be increased okay this is the tips for this video uh, so i promise like i will provide a range of salary expected in the starting of the video so let's come to this so when i give the interview for for the tellers so i i was having a four years of experience so i'm giving a, a years of range from 3 to 5 years and the expected salary would be you can expect from 10 to 15 lakhs okay i'm talking about the fix okay because this is the product based company they only focus on the fixed fixed part okay uh, there is a no variable for that okay so this is the salary you can expect maybe if you are having uh, few offer in your hand that that package can be increased based based on your existing offer letter okay but this is a like idle range 10 to 15 lakhs you can expect from that okay That's it for this video. Thank you so much guys. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming parts.